a friend who studied Indian politics seriously and now talking to vice president of India and we discussed it again. Uh, we discussed, uh, discussed election, okay, now we discussed terms of office. The vice president hold office for a term of five years, okay, uh, till the date from the date of uh, his office of, of on which he enters upon his office. He can be re-elected, okay, the vice president can resign from his office at the time by addressing uh, re, re, by re, by addressing the resignation letter to the president, removal. The vice president can be removed from his office by a resolution of the Rajya Sabha passed by their absolute majority. The vice president can be removed from his office, okay, by a resolution of Rajya Sabha passed by an absolute majority. That is the majority of the total members of the house, members of the house, okay and agreed agreed by to by the Lok Sabha. Regarding regarding Vice President, there is no requirement for any formal impeachment. Re regarding Vice President, there is no form requ no requirement for any formal impeachment for his removal. Okay. Powers and function. The Vice President acts as the President. The Vice President acts as President when a vacancy occurs in the office of the president duty due to his resignation removal death or etc he can act as president only uh, for a maximum period of six months okay which within which within which a new president has to be elected okay new president has to be elected the vice president is an ex officio chairman of the rajya sabha in this capacity his power and function are similar to those of the speaker and Lok Sabha. His powers and function are similar to those of the powers of uh, to, uh, to those of the speaker and the Lok Sabha. Speaker of the Lok Sabha. Okay. Next question: Council of Minister. Okay. So thank you.